And our cement producer PPC's headline earnings per share more than double to 15 cents per share, this boosted by strong performances in other African operations, particularly in Zimbabwe and Rwanda. Revenue for the year went up 7% to 10.3 billion rand, while operating profit declined by 7% to 906, uh, 956 million rand. Rather. Joining us now is Trifosa Ramano, who is the CEO of PPC. Triforce, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. A very solid set of results, and I think the company has done a solid job in turning around uh, the state that it was in um, in previous periods. And one thing that um, stuck out to me was that you were able to significantly reduce your net debt. Talk us through the company's strategy regarding that. Uh, thank you very much. Um, with regard to the uh, current performance, it's in a very challenging environment. As you are aware, over the last uh, five years, um, we've been building uh, cement plants uh, across the, uh, the continent. Uh, so this year we have managed to actually uh, commission two of the plants, which is in Ethiopia and the DRC. So while we are building those plants, we funded them through debt and equity. Hence, you saw in 2016, our debt was sitting at nine billion. So currently, our our our, our debt is sitting at 4.7 billion. We after we've done the right issue last year, we refocused in terms of the capital structure, whereby the board approved that in terms of the optimal capital structure, uh, we need to have 30 percent debt and 70% equity, and also in terms of your ratios, uh, that uh, gross debt uh, to EBITDA ranges between three to three and a half times, and then on the South African side, between two and two and a half times. Mm -hmm. So we focused on that, we restructured the South African debt, and then uh, uh, we got a two billion uh, funding package from one bank with reduced cost uh, of more than 2%. So we were paying cost of 12.6%, and we reduced it to below 10%, uh, purely because of our balance sheet has degraded and the risk has actually reduced. Over and above that, uh, Zimbabwe is repaying its debt on a semi-annual basis, and also the Rwanda is repaying its debt on a monthly basis. So going forward, you're going to see the debt uh, reducing and the cash generation of the business improving and increasing. And because we don't have any major CAPEX plan, for the going forward, we only do maintenance capex. You're going to see the free cash flow uh, improving quite significantly from the 457 million free cash flow we generated this year to, to more to close to double that amount going forward. Right, uh, Dry Parcel, let's talk about uh, the, the move into Zimbabwe and uh, Rwanda, which is quite fascinating. Of course, if you also add the new plants in uh, DRC and uh, Ethiopia, uh, Ethiopia has been synonymous with capital controls. It's one thing to actually invest the money, but once you get to uh, taking it out of the country, you face uh, a, a lot of uh, headwinds from the government. How have you braced for this particular scenario? Um, in the Ethiopia, remember they just commissioned this year. Uh, Ethiopia is only included into our accounts uh, for three months. And uh, going forward, um, uh, we are expecting Ethiopia to ramp up very quickly. So in our plan, we never expected to uh, actually have some dividends to be paid within the first few years of operations uh, in the country because we still have a uh, debt that we need to pay. However, currently what you can see with the government, uh, they have actually, uh, uh, they're introducing a number of reforms, hence they're also including the privatization. So we want to see quite positive things uh, happening in Ethiopia. And uh, fortunately, it happens while we are already uh, on the ground. Now, Triforce, you do speak about some really interesting prospects throughout the rest of the African continent. But talk us through your strategy for South Africa. I mean, we haven't seen any major uh, construction contracts come through since 2010. Are you hopeful that, um, you know, the environment in South Africa will improve? Uh, the environment in South Africa is very challenging. But we believe that it will improve uh, going forward. One of the challenges that we experience uh, in South Africa is that when you had the new players 
that came into the market uh, 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 two years ago, two to three years ago, we saw the pricing uh, going down significantly. So what they used, they used the pricing to gain market share. So the real prices went down 25%. So what you are seeing now is that the pricing, has, pricing is starting to go up. So we managed to realize about 3% in terms of price increases. And we, were not, uh, we saw the competitors also are actually increasing the prices because we cannot continue as a capital-intensive business uh, with the prices going down because otherwise you are not able to make enough money to be able to maintain your plan. From a market perspective, as you are aware, Western Cape is where we ha- uh, we've got the major market share in the, in the Western Cape. Uh, we are the only producer there. So we're seeing imports coming in, but we are actually fighting the imports around uh, in the Western Cape. And then what we are going to do in terms of improving from a profitability point of view, we are focusing on efficiencies. Our variable cost per ton reduced by 2% uh, due to energy efficiencies and also optimal sourcing. So we are the only producer that is uh, nationally, uh, that's got operation on a nation basis. So when we serve our customers, we actually check where can we service the customer uh, from the optimal sourcing point of view, and that gives you a competitive advantage from our side. So if you look at going forward on a South African market, we're going to make sure that we save 50 rents per ton, uh, which is uh, from the efficiencies point of view, but as well we're going to see prices uh, going up. The market will grow. We are expecting the market to grow by about 2.5% in the long term. And then by 2021, uh, we've done the capacity planning. Uh, From the environmental point of view, you've got about 3 million tons of capacity, which will not meet environmental uh, laws in South Africa. Uh, We are 30% of that, 3 million, which needs to be taken off the market. And then if you do the adjustment, Uh, we should be running out of capacity from 2022 as a country.